the Ama Piano versus Afro B Derby is up. All right, Ama Piano versus Afro B Derby is up in the pipeline, and we are looking forward to this Wednesday to see the Super Eagles of Nigeria Longhorns with the South Africans or with their South African counterparts. All right, and I know Ghanaians are saying the way Nigerians they tease them, they are looking forward. To also waiting for Nigeria to fall so that they can also, you know, go within the same tangent. Well, that is quite interesting. But I observe the space, you see. Nigerians were trolling Ghanaians. You get it? Because they know. Nigerians knew that Ghana would troll them if they fall. I salute you at the greet you now. I salute my people. Everybody watching me, here, welcome to TJ Studios. Today's exclusive. Well, before I run by you the exclusive, you know the norm. Subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts with me, and let's do this together. Okay. The Ama Piano versus Afrobeat Derby is up. Alright. Ama Piano versus Afrobeat Derby is up in the pipeline. And we are looking forward to this Wednesday. To see the super eagles of Nigeria Longhorns with the South Africans or with their South African counterparts, all right. And I know Ghanaians are saying the way Nigerians they tease them, they are looking forward to also waiting for Nigeria to fall so that they can also, you know, go within the same tangent. Well, that is quite interesting. But I observe the space, you see, Nigerians were trolling Ghanaians. You get it because they know Nigerians knew that Ghana would throw them if they fall. So after winning, they were so they were so elated and they were in a joyous mood, you know, and brought about this social media, you know, raffle and then beef where Ghanaians were throwing shots from all angles and the Nigerians were also, you know, throwing the shots. So like I said, it's all set. South Africa did the magic today. You get it. South Africa did the magic today. They, their goalkeeper was, was the man of the match and he had to save like three or four penalties. All right. So he has aided South Africa, edging them over, edging um, Cape Verde. Yes. And then they are having a clash or there's going to be a clash. South Africa versus Nigeria. What a clash this is going to be. Drop your predictions. What do you think your predictions will be for this match? Drop your Pre drop your predictions in the comment section and let's see. And then to my Nigerian people, how do you see this derby match? All right. And we'll look at, going forward, we we'll look at the number of times Nigeria and South Africa has met. And then the number of wins, draws and loses. All right. And losses, let me say it in that way, within that derby. All right. That is also another derby. The Ghana-Niger derby is the biggest in Africa, I, I believe. But the South Africa-Nigeria derby is also... One match we are going to look out for, but you see, I want to <laughs> I want to use this medium to my to, to send a shout out to my Nigerian people and tell them Charlie cool down. The way Ghanaians make word say they no go allow Ghanaians make word power. They say they no go allow make Nigeria you know catch them with the four trophies we've we've not been able to win an additional one over forty two years. Right this time. It is the prayer of a lot of Ghanaians, or most of Ghanaians, not to make sure Nigeria get their fourth Afghan trophy. So, what do you think? What do you think as well? So, there is a banter. Low-key, there is a banter. You get it. Some Ghanaians are staring Nigerians with this eye. And then, that is, that is the football rivalry. That is, that is, I think that is, that, I think that is not bad. Rivalry between, you know, both countries, basically Nigeria and then that of Ghana. That is not bad to go with. It, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, fosters the Ghana-Niger thing. You get it. Where everybody is trying to claim supremacy over the other. But, <laughs> well, the kind of trolling my Niger people gave to Ghanaians and eh, my country people after they won their previous match, their last match against Angola, it was, it was serious. And on, uh, let's see. Let's see how it's going to fare. Let's see how it's going to pan out in the derby. So, on today's editorial, the Amapiano versus Afrobeat derby is up. 
And what are what what are your predictions? What do you see the match going? Or how do you see the match? Let me put it in that regard. How is it going to be like? Is it going to be a tight score? Is it going to be a drawn game? Is it going to head to extra time? Is it going to head to penalties? Or do you see Nigeria edging South Africa or South Africa causing a surprise? Because the South African coach is a winner as compared to the Nigerian coach. The South African coach is a winner, previously winning an Afghan trophy with the Cameroonian team. So with when it comes to experience and expertise within this tournament, he has it. And as you've observed, he has this tactical plan where he's able to meet teams and then dominate in an instance, okay? Although with Nenea match against Kevet, Kevet were dominant and should have edged South Africa by scoring within the 90 minutes. But hey, it did not happen. So that is on the bill today. The Ama Piano versus Afrobeat Derby. Wow, what a derby this is going to be. And who's going to have the bragging rights? Well, it's a slippery slope. It's a dicey one, but let's see how it's going to pan out, okay? My heart, you know, is for Nigeria. Ghana, because I'm a Ghanaian, automatically when Ghana plays, you know, there is this, there is this nationalism in me where I cannot do away with Ghana. On the other hand, Nigeria is also a brother, so you have no option than to support Nigeria when Ghana is boosted out of the tournament, all right? So we are with Nigeria, and like I said, history is behind Nigeria, facts and figures, and a lot of things are behind Nigeria. How are they going to make good use of it? See, eight of them heading to the final. I have predicted with fact and figures that anytime Nigeria goes through Ivory Coast, they become a force to reckon with. And then the last time Nigeria were in the quarterfinal, North African teams, or the last time Nigeria won the AFCON trophy, North African teams were not part of the plan or were not part of that AFCON. That is basically 2013. So how is it going to pan out? How is it going to be like? That is what we are looking at. On the other hand, Ivory Coast has also made it to the semi-finals. And I bet you, I don't want them to meet Nigeria in the final. Because then history will be rewritten or history will be diverse to the extent that Ivory Coast will be eager and hungry to, you know, revenge. All right, to, to cause a stir there. So, well, it's, it's not easy. This semi-final pairings is not easy. But let's see. The Amapiano Afrobeat you know, Debbie is up. And I'm looking forward to your predictions in the comment section and your opinion. Are Nigerians going to oost South Africa and then move to the final and then see how things will pan out? Or are South Africa going to go cause a surprise? Well, Ghanaians are watching with a keen eye. And their only prayer is that Nigeria should fall. The only, most of the reason or the biggest reason is that they don't want South Africa, uh, sorry, Nigeria to equal the four trophy won by Ghana in this AFCON. All right. So let's see how it's going to pan out. All right. This is it on today's editorial. I salute you all. Uh, let's see how things will go. My name is TJ. Why? You can call me Emeka Friday. Somebody has added Friday to my name in the comment section. All right. So Emeka Friday. I salute you all. Do well to subscribe to the channel. Share your thoughts with us or with me in the comment section and I'll respond to them. And then as time goes on, I'm going to react to a lot of them. My name has always been TJY. I salute and then ciao.